Hey, what's up all you foodies? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I've got to give a big shout out to all my Hungarian followers because today's recipe hails from Hungary and it's basically my first attempt at making this unbelievable chimney cake. I'm stoked to share the recipe, so let's dive in. First things first, you gotta make the chimney cake dough. So you're gonna stir together the milk, melted butter, and sugar in a mixing bowl. Uh, then you're gonna incorporate the yeast and allow it to bloom for about 15 minutes. Once the yeast is active and bubbly, stir in the egg and then you're gonna add in the all-purpose flour and mix that in for a few minutes until it becomes a solid mass of dough. Next, you're going to want to sprinkle a bit of flour onto the cutting board, turn the dough out onto the working surface, and begin to knead the dough for about five to seven minutes until it becomes smooth and slightly elastic. When the dough is finished, you're gonna lightly coat it with a little bit of vegetable oil, which I seem to be in need of. Anyways, cover it with plastic and allow it to double in volume. But after it has proofed, um, you are going to basically just punch it down and roll it out into a giant rectangle that's a little less than a quarter of an inch thickness. Now that the dough is rolled out, you're gonna to begin to make long, careful slices until you have as many strips of dough as you can get. All right, so now comes the fun part. Um, you're gonna take all those slices of dough that were just cut and begin to roll them around a rolling pin that's wrapped at least four to five times in aluminum foil. Uh, now, traditionally, this is supposed to be roasted over a spit uh, or on a spit, uh, but that's maybe for another time. Uh, so anyways, you're gonna keep rolling the strips around the pin until it's completely covered from edge to edge. After the layering is complete, you're gonna give the dough one last gentle roll on the cutting board to sort of sink all the strips together. Uh, then it's time to butter it up by brushing some delicious melted butter on the dough um, and basically just around the whole thing and finally coating it in some granulated sugar and baking it at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 to 25 minutes or until it's a perfect golden brown color.
All right, so now comes the sort of don't burn your fingers, but you're almost there fun part. Um, so once the chimney cake is all baked up and beautiful, remove it from the oven, loosen up any edges that may be stuck to the foil, and simply and carefully um, just slide it right off. Um, just like I said, be careful of your fingers. If you want to go really over the top, you can brush them with another round of butter and then coat them in a, um, a good round of cinnamon sugar for yet another layer of flavor. Uh, but at this point, it's time to devour some chimney cakes and maybe have a cup of coffee. All right, what else guys? Okay, so the uh, chimney cake recipe is done. Believe it or not, as you can tell, a little change in the facial hair, a little change in my hair, um, because I actually had to recreate this recipe to do this outro. There's actually a couple outros that I have missing on some of the pre-filmed videos that I have going up. Um, so there might be some funny changes going from the recipe to the outro. <laughs> so just be on the lookout for that. And um, yeah, I don't know what happened to those, but this was a really fun recipe to recreate. Um, I think I did a little bit more kneading on the dough, which made a really cool kind of tender, fluffy bread inside. Um, the other, it's the same exact recipe, I just kneaded it for a little bit longer. Just kind of like pulls apart. I mean, that's, that's the whole idea of this recipe, as it's supposed to kind of unravel and have a cool reveal, especially if you have it filled with something. Let me test it out. Hmm. Crunchy on the outside, tender in the middle. It's a beautiful kind of crumb, sweet bread texture on the inside. Mm. And this is like the coolest part about this is you can just kind of unravel these. Especially when they're fresh out of the oven. This has been sitting here for like a few minutes. When they're really fresh out of the oven or off the spit, which is traditionally how you make them, they're super tender warm and kind of just fall apart. Mm. Obviously, if you sprinkle it with the cinnamon sugar, like I did here, very reminiscent of like a cinnamon roll, but different obviously with the shape and what you could do with this is kind of the draw uh, to this recipe. You could fill it with certain things, you know, you could put it on ice cream. Actually, believe it or not, I just finished filming a recipe where I utilized some, um, some leftover guava from another recipe, made a little frozen yogurt, um, actually made a cone out of this and piped the frozen yogurt inside. Um, so be on the lookout for that recipe. Very, very cool application for the chimney cake. Um, but as you can tell, lots of fun different ways to approach this and to utilize this dough or this idea I and mean, even just the technique of wrapping dough around a cylinder and baking it. Um, just kind of expands the horizons, the mental capabilities of what you feel like you can do with different recipes that maybe you've been staring at um, for quite some time in your life. So uh, this hails from Romania, the traditional recipe. It's a spit type of cake, similar to Baumkuchen or Baumkuchen, um, that layered cake that I've made on my channel a few times. And you're supposed to roast this over open fire. This kind of peels off and you get to enjoy it with, you know, chocolate or Nutella, different types of dips. And like I said, you can fill it with stuff too. Very cool recipe. I really hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. I had a lot of fun remaking it and recreating it again and doing it the first time. You guys will have a blast. It's definitely very simple. It's just, you know, the wrapping, I feel like maybe is the hardest part, just getting that the wrapping motion down. 
uh, but, but the dough is super easy to make and uh, the ingredients are pretty much, other than maybe yeast, are things that you would typically have in your home. So make sure you try this out. Tell me how you did in the uh, comments below or send me pictures or videos on my other social platforms, which are in the description if you guys wanna check that out. If you guys did enjoy this recipe, make sure you give this video a big old like. Subscribe to my channel if you guys like what I'm doing here as a whole. Comment down below for future video requests, things you wanna see on my channel. Make sure you check the description box for equipment links, ingredients to the recipe, and other info revolving around my channel. And I will see you guys next time with another recipe. Later guys.